Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Replicant 3. Right, I am going to apply Replicant to this. So Replicant 3 is by Audio Damage. I'll put a link in the description below. This is Logic Pro for iPad, obviously. And just some bits and pieces I've made for a loop. So, I would suggest, you can of course use all the presets and stuff like that right but i would suggest going to the user category and just choosing clean slate this will give you basically a completely bypassed version of replicant so even if it's turned on you won't hear any difference and then you can start to play around with all the controls now we have these slices here we can increase the amount of slices here or divisions as they like to call them but there you go we'll start with 16 the likelihood of each slice affecting the loop i've got it on 100 percent the effect section which is these effects here this these are all turned down to zero so whatever i did here or with our slice effects sorry uh, the stutter delay the reduct and the ring mod won't have any effect until i start to bring these up so for example let's just do something with this delay let's start off and play around with the controls and you'll soon get an idea of how brilliant and how easy replicant 3 is to use so let's start the loop off i'm gonna switch on two slices you'll see and it re each slice will repeat four times just carry on so four. okay so let's bring the delay up which will affect this This will affect the slices we put in. Take the layout. Let's bring the reduct up. But first, let's take all this bit reduction and sample rate down. some stuff let's give it some decay let's put a few more in we have ring mod so full amount here and we can play around with the frequency So you can blend all this stuff together let's have a look at the stutter so at the moment two divisions so it's just basically it's the division we select is going to stutter twice. So we could do one here, one here. So let's play with this stutter amount. Let's put a few more slices in for it to play with. Awesome stuff, eh? So 
So they're basically your slice effects. And you can, like I said, you can mix and match them there. Let's look at our event effects now. So let's put in some more. And play around with these. If you're wearing headphones, you'll hear this much, much better. The envelope is just really, really great on this. Filter. And these are related to our events. size here of the replicators. Different modes. We have a manual mode. It's much more fun now in this mode. So, randomize the amount of times this is likely to occur, depending on how many we have in. So, in this, this one, we could just go. the size all the way down to three.
I mean, you really can create some very cool stuff. The effects panel here will literally just swap between your event effects and well, it's basically whatever you have selected. There you go. And of course you can just go in and you can play with around with the factory patches.
and just have a load of fun replicant 3 is really great for, especially for creating that glitchy kind of stuff now i had this of course on the um as you can see i've got it on the output so it's basically affecting the entire mix but you can apply it to just one of them or one or two I have different replicants of course it's great for replicant 3 by audio damage very very cool great way to get loads of cool glitches and stuff like that in your mix etc it's just really great anyway thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel please consider becoming a patreon and i will see you guys later ta-da